Today we'll be scousing it up because we'll have a look at the Beatles. Uh, this was uh, kindly lent to me by um, uh, Joost Appelbaum from um, Appelbaum Pennen. Uh, and it's interesting, interesting uh, a pen, I would say. I just took off this cardboard sleeve. Let's have a quick look at the box, then I'll cover the past the pen. I'll do a writing sample and tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Okay, so what do we have here? We have this box. This box uh, has obviously the Beatles on it. It has the Beatles, the Beatles on it. It has these colored stripes that are also featured on the pen, which I'll show you in just a second. It's a Mont Blanc pen, uh, and it's uh, one of their, their great characters, uh, special editions. Uh, let me just open this up. What else is in this box? There is a rather large booklet, uh, which I think is, uh, is, is quite nice. Um, it has uh, some information, of course, on the, the Beatles uh, in it. Nice, nice booklet, color and all. Um, several pictures. I mean, it's it's obvious we're 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 talking about a collector's edition pen, and as usual, uh, Montblanc does spend a lot of time, I think, on on designing these pens. Okay, the actual box. I'll just open it up. Has a nice little uh, bed for your pen, uh, and. On the other side of that you can put in two pens, so should you have a, a fountain pen and a ballpoint or something, you can uh, put both of them in the box. Okay, closing that up, let's have a look at the past of the pen. So that's coming up next, see you in a sec. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about the pen before I show you all the parts in detail. Um, I will show you the close-up of the parts, but just a very quick rundown, because there's a lot to see on this pen. And that's one thing I, I really like about the, the, the Mont Blanc Great Character series, or their writer's editions. There's often a lot of interesting references to the person, or in this case, persons, that are honored by the pen. So, there's quite a lot here. I would say it's a bigger pen. Uh, it's it's uh, definitely not small, and it has some interesting things going for it. So. Top of the pen supposed to resemble a microphone, as used by the Beatles to um, uh, to record their uh, their music and such. Um, on the other end, turning knob, and again I'll show you a better close up in a second. Uh, is supposed the, to be the uh, one of the turning knobs, the the mixing table at Abbey Road Studios, where they record a lot of their stuff. Uh, so that's nice too. We have the clip. The clip has little moustaches on them. Again close-ups in a second, so I'm, I'm just briefly going over this. These stripes uh, represent the, the, the stripes of the, the costumes, that they, uh, the outfits they, they, they wore on at least two album covers. And another a final thing that I think is a nice detail is that on the uh, uh, nib uh, there's sort of an abstract apple, and that apple uh, uh, represents the um, uh, Apple Records label that they, they, they created to, to uh, launch their, their to, what do you call that, to produce their records. Um, so definitely an interesting pen with a lot of eye for detail, which I think really appeals or could appeal to collectors. Nice pen, nice size, nice detail. Um, I think what we really need to do is go over the pen in close up in more detail because there is so much to see. Let's do that next. And that's all there's to it. Okay, so let's have a look at the Mont Blanc Beatles pen uh, great characters in a little bit more detail. So, at the top of the cap here, of course, we have the, uh, the, the, the Mont Blanc peak. Uh, fairly large, pretty big. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not a small size there. And as I said, this is supposed to look like the, uh, the, the, the type of microphone used to record the, the, the Beatles songs. Cap screws into place. Um, you have those nice stripes they wore, the, the outfits, like the outfits they wore on at least two of the album covers. And of course you have the, uh, the clip with the four moustaches, which I think is a, is a nice little detail, because from a distance you don't necessarily see what it is. It may look like arrows or something. <clears throat> it's only when you get up close you can actually see that they are those moustaches. The stripes, as I said, all the way down, there's a small step down there, and then you get the, uh, the piston turning knob, meant to be the uh, to represent the, the turning knob 
uh, of the, the recording studio where they recorded their stuff. And I think that is a nice touch because that's another thing that, that I don't know, could look like all sorts of things, but it, it is quite nice. The cap unscrews, you have a metal section, a dark blackish uh, metal, just like the rest of the trims of the pen, which I think is quite nice. It, it, it works well. And we have the nib. The nib has that stylized Apple uh, on it, the, uh, the Apple Records uh, label, and it has some additional information on it. 2017 for the year it was uh, launched, uh, 4810 for the height of the Mont Blanc, and it, it has the gold content. I have to get it a little bit closer. So 14K section, fairly featureless tapers down slightly, has no hourglass shape or anything, um, but I, I, I did find it pretty comfortable to hold. The one thing for me, I'm, I, I will admit, I'm, I'm not necessarily an enormous uh, Beatles uh, fan, so a lot of this stuff doesn't really do much for me, and that's just because I'm not a Beatles fan. Um, but the one thing I will say is this nib was really, really nice. I really, really like the way it, it, it writes. A uh, nice medium, but but just a, a very, very nice uh, uh, tuning. <clears throat> so speaking of that, let's just see how it writes. So here we have the Mont Blanc. And I'm not going to write down great characters, uh, just for the sake of time. The Beatles, it's a medium 14K nib, and the ink is just the good old trusty Waterman Serenity Blue. And I just, I just love this nib. The reason I like it so much is that for me it has the perfect balance of feedback and smoothness. So it, it just gives that, that nice touch of feedback uh, that uh, uh, allows you to, to sort of experience a, a fountain pen, um, but it's, it's smooth enough to be very pleasant. So the perfect mix. Now if we're going to do some fast writing. No skips. Uh, it just works very well and very pleasantly. As to the wetness of the pen, it's not exactly a gusher, but I think it's it's nicely tuned. Uh, line variation, as always, very, very careful, um, but I find there's a pretty stiff nib. I mean, yes, you, you can get out a little bit of line variation, but it's by no means a flex nib, nor is it advertised as such, so I, I would be a little careful with this one. Okay, for those of you who enjoy such a thing, you can use it for reverse writing. It's actually quite smooth, not very scratchy as some nibs are, and I would say you take it from a medium to definitely a good fine. Um, so you can actually make your nib write finer if you really want or need that. So there you have it. Joost, thanks a lot for lending me the pen. I appreciate it. I hope this was useful. Let's have a look at what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Okay, what do I like about the pen? What do I not like about the pen? Well, to start with what I like, I think these pens, and when I say these pens, I mean these Mont Blanc great characters, have something in common, and that is that Montblanc does pay attention and does really try to put in a lot of details that would appeal to fans of whatever character or characters they are uh, commemorating in their pens. So I like the details, and you have a lot going on there. The piston turning knob, the microphone, the moustaches, the stripes. Uh, it's a lot of real uh, Beatles detail, which I think is, is a lot of fun. Um, so it's, it's, it's great that all that's in there. Another bit of detail that I enjoy uh, is that the, the stripes can actually be made to line up, which is nice. Yeah, I, in, in, in my case, I, I under-tighten the cap a little bit, but it's, it's tight enough so it won't fall off. And those stripes do line up, which just visually is, is very appealing. I like that. The nib writes really nicely. It's a medium nib. I really enjoyed how it writes. It's um, 
just for me the perfect amount of feedback it flows nicely uh, so no complaints there and it wouldn't be the first time that I see a very expensive pen sort of aimed at fans of something and a lot of attention was paid to the pen but it doesn't really write it's great to see that in this pen that's not the case uh, you you buy something that is not just a collector's piece but also a very nice writer and I think that's that's great and of course you could expect that but let's face it in the fountain pen world you don't always get that it is not uncommon to buy a very expensive pen only to find out that it doesn't really write or doesn't write perfectly things I don't like so much um, I found the pen a little top heavy near that piston turning knob it's it's a lot of metal and I found that a little heavy um, but that may be just my preference one issue I had was that this section is fairly featureless and that makes it it's also metal that makes it a little slippery so I did find I had to make sure I kept rotating the pen properly to, to make it right um, and it's definitely a larger section so there is enough to hold on to but it's just a bit slippery so that is not ideal uh, the pen doesn't really post not not reliably anyway I mean I can push it down but it feels uncomfortable to do so I've got the feeling I'm, I'm pushing the inner cap or something in there it doesn't feel like it's it's meant to be posted and um, you would also end up with a giant pen that way it's definitely top heavy so I don't know that's a terrible thing but those of you who like to post everything it's not possible with this one the final issue is, as always, the price. Uh, at 905 euros, that is an expensive piece. Um, there is definitely a lot of detail in it. It is a nice writer, so I. It, there is a lot going for it, but it's not inexpensive. And being a Montblanc, you pay a premium. That's that's just the way it works. I see how real Beatles fans would want to buy this or would consider it at this price anyway just because when you're a fan that's kind of how it works and um, but it's it's uh, it's an expensive pen there's there's no doubt about it could be a lot worse too so I, I i don't think it's it's horribly priced but as i said it's it's not a, a an inexpensive pen okay there you have it a kind thank you to yoast for lending me the pen i appreciate it uh, high resolution pictures as well as the, uh, the measurements of the pen will be on the website sbrebrown.com. I hope this was useful and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Bye.